Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic hit Papua New Guinea, the shift in focus in the country's health system has dramatically been on COVID-19 for obvious reasons. The National Capital District has been the hardest hit, with Port Moresby General Hospital stretched to the limit due to the latest surge of COVID-19 cases and deaths. The capacity of health workers in the capital city has been put under enormous pressure, affecting them physically, mentally and spiritually. So I really feel sorry for the health staff who are there 24-7. I really felt sorry for not only for their them there all the time, but mentally and spiritually. They, they are really, there's a lot of pressure on these human beings called health workers. The intense focus on the COVID-19 response has resulted in a decline in primary health care services such as dental and optometry, community pharmacy, general pediatrics, diabetes and cancer screening, and diagnosis and treatment of acute injuries and sickness. The NCD Provincial Health Authority has therefore decided to re-strategize its approach. Deployed all our clinical staff to be able to uh, work in, in the addressing the, the COVID-19 responses in the city. So when we do that, there's a lot of breakdown in terms of the primary health care service within all the city's uh, health facility in NCD. So what we have, uh, did now, uh, our current approach is basically all our current staff in the 26 facility in the city are maintained in our facility to provide the primary health care service, while we recruit the staff on short-term contract to respond to the COVID uh, uh, responses in the city and also the vaccination. Former Health Minister Sepuka Temu, who himself once worked as a doctor at Port Moresby General Hospital and other places, has expressed great concern for health workers, calling on Governor Poes Pakop to declare a lockdown in the city to relieve health workers. And orders are already there, but NCD, where the governor is in charge, is failing to police those orders adequately. And therefore, the two hospitals in the city, Gerehu and Port Moresby General Hospital, they are now overstretched. And because I know and our scientists know that the peak will not come very soon, we still, if, if the peak comes, by the time the peak comes, we could have another 90 health workers infected. We could have double the numbers of dead, 30 dead people coming in. And that's a big social cost. The NCD PHA is now appealing for more health workers, apart from the ones currently engaged, to be recruited on short-term contracts specifically to help in the city's COVID-19 response. Some health workers have also been infected with COVID-19 in their line of duties, affecting operations at various health facilities. So yes, the challenge for the staff manpower in the city to be able to mentor, man, uh, maintain our current operation in the city is very, very challenging because of the, you know, we have increased also incidence of cross-infection uh, within our facilities. So we have put a a message in all NCDPHA facilities that you, uh, every public that want to access our facility must be masked. So masking is mandatory in all our facilities in the city. Denny Sorere, National MTV News.